Today we shall see descendant selectors in jQuery. I'll take a simple HTML document and show you how this descendant selector works. Actually, this descendant selector will be used for some quite complicated HTML documents, but I don't want to take complicated HTML structure here because I don't want to confuse you. I want to make you understand how to use the syntax of descendant selectors so that you could apply that for even a complex HTML structure. So the example I'll be showing may not be that relevant, but at the end of the video, you will surely know how to use descendant selector even for your, your complex structured HTML document. As I had told in previous videos, the selectors in jQuery works similar to the selectors of CSS. In this video tutorial, I'll also show how CSS selectors work so that you could compare the CSS selectors and the jQuery selectors. And no, knowing one could benefit for the both. Just see how the elements are nested First, we have a div which has an ID of main. Inside that, we have four i four divs with class sub. Purposefully, I'm taking ID and sub uh, ID and classes here to make you understand how to select the ID and class. Now, I'll write a cascading style sheet. Remember why we write external style sheets external documents like this to optimize the web page i'll keep it simple we have a div with an id main to apply style to div we need to start the div with a pound symbol followed by id name inside the brackets we write its property and a value. This is how we select and apply properties to HTML elements using style sheets. If you don't know the basics of cascading style sheets, please visit technotip.com and CSS category. You get a lot of basic as well as somewhat advanced cascading style sheet tutorials that could help you understand this. Okay, let us see it on our browser. Well, well, we need to write the relation that is style sheet. REL means relation. Now it must work. Okay, it's working. Let's minimize this to 30 pixels and 40 pixels. It's too small to demonstrate. I'll make it 80 and 80. So this is how we select IDs in CSS. So we have a class called sub here. In CSS, we use dot to represent class followed by class name that is sub. Now continue with the property and its value. Width is a property, 50 pixel is its value. Height is a property, 50 pixel is its value. Background color is a property. White is its value. We can give even red or any other value like that. We could even go for hexadecimal code. For now, I'll keep it simple. So why we are getting red like this? Because we have four divs with 50 pixels width and 50 pixels height. So let me remove 
three dues and retain only one for the purpose of demonstration and to keep the code clean and simple. Now again, I'll take another element inside our div, which is already inside main div. So observe the nesting here. First we have the main div, next we have another div with class sub, inside that we have a paragraph tag. Just observe these nestings of HTML elements. Now I'll write style information for paragraph tag. So you have observed how I select elements in cascading style sheets. There is no difference in selecting the elements in jQuery, just that we use dollar symbol and a parenthesis inside double quotes we give these element names. So for the purpose of demonstration, I'll take three buttons Upon clicking each button, I'll change the background color of these divs and the foreground color of the paragraph string using jQuery. We give unique IDs for all these buttons so that we could identify which button the user had clicked. So now we will start with jQuery coding. First and foremost, include your jQuery library without fail. And please remember for other basic tutorials and previous J videos, please visit technotip.com and visit jQuery category. Also, please spread these videos on Facebook. Google Plus, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. Now I'm including my own JavaScript file, which we are yet to write. Okay, let me give you an optimization tip here. We give IDs, classes, and we use descendant selectors, all these, but we could select an element in multiple ways, like we could give specific ID to each element, and with that ID, we could select the element easily. But is it possible to give ID to all the elements in an HTML page? With a complicated structure wherein some of the elements may be generated dynamic dynamically how would you handle the situation like that so in such case, cases it is better if you know descendant selectors wherein if a paragraph tag is being created inside a due tag which has an specific id Using its parent tag, that is the div with an ID, you could select the paragraph tag inside it. So this is where these descendant selectors come into play. So with this simple HTML document, I'm trying to illustrate how to select nested elements. So once 
coming back to the code once the main underscore div button has been clicked nothing happens right i have an error in my okay it's ready not read okay it's working once the user clicks on main underscore div button it changes the background color of the div which has an id main so let me do the same for the div which is present inside the main div so we had once the user clicks sub underscore div we need to change the background color of div which has a class called sub but what if it doesn't have any class how could you select that so now we shall use descendant selectors to select that div that is it is inside another div so div space div the div which is inside another div so change the background color to yellow okay it's working so similarly how to select paragraph tag it's simple the paragraph tag which is inside a div which is inside another div so you would write div space div space p so remember i'm saying it again this is not an ideal example here because the html structure is so simple that you need not even use these descendant selectors but i am using this simple structure as to illustrate the syntax of descendant selectors i don't want to make it look complicated in the first class of descendant selectors so just concentrate on the syntax not on the structure or the usability of this program so we need to change the color not the background color okay if you want to select multiple elements just give for example if you want to select all two divs and paragraph give div comma div comma p that would select all the elements yeah, that is div div and p to select everything in a web page give star there so if the paragraph had an id and you want to be as specific as possible while selecting still using a descendant selector if it was a class you know you need to use dot i know you could directly use dot para here but i'm just showing you the syntax i told you before i'm just showing you the syntax not necessarily this could not be necessarily the condition where you would use descendant selectors but just get the point and get the syntax please spread this video on facebook twitter google plus linkedin etc thanks for watching like it on youtube